Here at Regina Street Public School, we started the Mud Lake Project about five years ago. It's a project that takes students out of the classroom and brings their learning outdoors. Some of these kids have been going to Mud Lake now for two, three years, uh, and it's definitely part of their life now. It's my favorite day of the week, so we normally go down to Mud Lake to see what has changed in the habitat. We're going to roll up, guys. We're going to let them go past. Doing it every week or every two weeks allows the students to see changes within nature. So they start to look at things as not random events, but patterns that we can look at and, and see how nature is such a vital part of their lives. I learned about the turtles and all the chickadees and birds. It's different. The way that I'm learning in school, it's different now. What are you guys looking at? We're looking at this. So John Cameron had the idea and, and I encouraged it, but I think that um, it's, it's really a team thing coming down here. And where that really came from was, you know, our students and looking at our students saying, what do we really want? When, the, when these guys leave us in grade six, what do we want for them? And we want them to have a connection, not just to Mud Lake, but to the environment itself. You know, this is something that uh, they, they're proud of. Uh, they'll talk at length about uh, their discoveries and explorations down there. And it is a place where they are now, they, they feel like a real sense of ownership. It's, they feel like it belongs to them in a way and they're stewards of that, that space. It's, it's just fantastic. We, we've had art projects in, in uh, Mud Lake, we've had music projects, we've had endless stuff that is so enriching for the kids and for the, for the adults. We're learning with our students. Uh, we're bringing questions back to the classroom and finding answers and finding solutions. Where you can see now, can you think of any areas that might be a good spot if we're talking about sort of starting a community? It's pushed us to change the way we teach and I think it's been a healthy push that's affected you know, our, our practice across the curriculum. I appreciate nature in a different way. I think it will inspire me to be a bird person when I grow up. I know that this is something that will hopefully continue long after I leave, that this is just something that's embedded in, in the Regina Street community. If you're engaged in your learning, you're definitely going to put more work, more effort into it, and it becomes a passion. So I think with that, it, it, the collaborative approach allows us to get take our own talents and, and learn, and then from that, we can build a community that allows us to do what's best for students, but also what's best for us as teachers as well. endeavor with our school and just that that, that learning continues so that it's uh, not just happening not just happening within the hours of the day these guys I messed awesome. up my interview here guys That's great I love it there you go